In this video, we will learn what is bevel, what is the difference between beveling and chamfering of a pipe, and then we will learn four different methods for pipe beveling. So let's begin. First, we will see what is pipe beveling. Pipe beveling is actually cutting an edge at the end of the pipe like this, as you can see in this image. And this is done for welding preparation process of pipe joining. As you can see this image, we have two pipes and both of them have bevel edges. This is perfect for pipe welding. Most commonly this angle or bevel angle is 37.5 degree. This can be any angle other than 45 degree or 90 degree. Most important thing in pipe beveling is the quality of pipe bevel because it directly affects the welding quality as well. Beveling can also be used for removing the edges from the end of the pipes for safety reasons. Now let's see what is the difference between beveling and chamfering. There is not much difference between beveling and chamfering other than this angle. In this image you can see an angle of 45 degree. This is done for chamfering. Mostly chamfering angle is 45 degree. But in case of bevel, this angle is 37.5 degree. In this image, you can see this is done for beveling. So the only difference between beveling and chamfering is this degree and nothing much more. Now let's see what are the different types of methods for cutting bevel. Well, there are four methods and uh, these are mentioned here. Now let's discuss them one by one. First method for cutting bevel is by a hand grinder. In this image, you can see a person is cutting bevel by using this hand grinder. The good thing of this method is that this is a very cheap method, but this is a very time consuming method. And as we know that bevel quality will definitely affect the welding quality. So we will require a skilled operator for this purpose. And although we are going to have a skill operator, still the bevel degree will not be the same for each pipe. Which means that even we have a skilled operator for this, still the bevel degree will not be the same for every pipe. And this will affect the welding quality, which is a bad thing. And this method also creates a lot of mess. Second method for pipe beveling is by a plasma or torch cutter. In this image, you can see this is a pipe and this right here is a plasma cutter. And the plasma cutter is cutting the bevel on this large diameter pipe. The good thing of this method is this is a little bit faster than the previous method, which was uh, cutting the bevel by a hand grinder which is a good thing of this method but as you can see in this image at the end of the pipe will have to be prepared by hand which is a bit unsafe process and also this method of pipe beveling is not applicable for every material third method of pipe beveling is using the portable beveling machine well this is safer method than the previous two methods which is a good thing and also this portable machines are time efficient because we can take this machine to every pipe and we can perform the beveling process. The problem of using this method of uh, portable beveling machine is that this machine cannot be used for high production. Moving on to our final method of beveling and that is using stationary beveling machine. This is used for high production because this is the fastest method of beveling and there is no mass creation in this method as this machine has all set of tools available so any shape of the bevel can be created very fastly there is no mass creation in this process this is a safe working environment the best thing of this method is that we can have a constant pipe bevel quality which means that our welding quality will be the best by using this method. The only problem of this method is that it has high initial cost and definitely high maintenance cost. So these are the four methods that are used for beveling of a pipe. If you find this tutorial helpful, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.